Hey, hey, Dr. Legrand here. Welcome to my channel where we bring you insightful, fun, and educational videos on all things pertaining to health. In this video, I'm going to talk about how fasting can reduce blood pressure. In my practice, I have actually seen several of my patients reduce their blood pressure through a combination of intermittent fasting and water fasting on a regular basis. I'm going to go over two research articles supporting using fasting to lower blood pressure and then at the end of my video I will go over one benefit of calorie restriction and cardiovascular health. So make sure to stay till the end of this video. The first study was done with 110 patients which consists with an average weight of about 290 plus pounds per patient who were hospitalized for three weeks for the treatment of extreme obesity with a fasting diet. Now these patients were actually evaluated for several times for changes in blood pressure, lipid profile, as well as glucose and insulin levels. Now the results that they actually found in this study when they were measuring all those increments is the study showed a decrease in cholesterol levels, normal glucose tolerance levels in 88% of patients. Wow. And blood pressure decreased on average 11 points systolically and 7 points diastolically. The other thing they found in the study is that on average there was weight decreased about 30 pounds in each one of the patients. The second study is actually very similar to the first, but with actually greater results, and here's why. It actually had 174 patients that were hypertensive. So a little bit bigger sample size, but with these patients, they were actually went through a pre-prep diet before a long 10 to 11 day water fast. So very extensive. The results was almost 90% of the patients had reduction in blood pressure by 30% points systolically and 13 points diastolically. And in stage three hypertension cases, they had blood pressure reduction on average of 60 points systolically and 17 points diastolically reduction. The other fascinating thing they found with these patients is the ones that were on hypertensive medications were all successful coming off of them during and after the study. The last study I'm going to talk about has to do with calorie restriction. Now with calorie restriction, I've talked about before the benefits, and this one actually talks about the benefits of reducing or actually lowering the chances of getting atherosclerosis and heart disease. In this study, patients were fed around 1100 to 1900 calories compared to the other group consuming 2,000 to 3,500 calories. They found that the group that consumed lesser calories had lower cholesterol and triglycerides which put them in the ultra healthy level of the top 5th percentile of 20 year olds as well as had 40% less carotid wall thickness. Wow, this is actually really amazing. You can see that there is some profound effects of fasting when it comes to cardiovascular health. If you ever thought of doing a fast, talk to your doctor first to see if you can benefit from this wonderful benefit of fasting when it comes to cardiovascular health. For today's question, what are other methods that you have hmm. done to lower your blood pressure? Do you have hmm. a health question that you would like to be answered hmm. in my next video? Then make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. To find out how fasting can help you lose weight, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted when I post that video. Give me a big thumbs up if you ever have done water fast or if you liked this video. And if you have not already watched my other videos on fasting, make sure to click on these videos links here. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Docere, Doctor as Teacher.